Evening everybody. Today or tonight rather. Uh I just re or built this for the first time. Someone gave me this atomizer yesterday at a uh building class that I did. It's a uh a gamma atomizer. I'm not sure uh what version it is, but it's pretty nice. Um Anyway, I'm going to do a vapor production. I did a build video for it, so uh, look up here at the link and you'll be able to watch the uh, build video I did for it. And this is a vapor production video. So without any further delay, I'll go ahead and do a few vapes off of it and let you see the uh, vapor production. I'm vaping, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, here it is. Some uh, vape dojo juice, berries and cream. It's pretty good. Uh, six milligrams nicotine, 50/50 PG VG, VG PG, whichever way, 50/50. Okay, so here we go. Here's some vapor production. Oh, turn my safety on. Oh. It's a uh, 26 gauge, 7 wraps around a 1 8 inch drill bit. Uh, ohms come out to 0.4. And uh, I'm using a, a VTC4 Sony battery, a 30 amp battery, 2100 ma, on a uh, brass Sentinel M16 mod. Pretty good vapor production. Flavor is good. Uh, it's got a really small chamber in it, so uh, you know the flavor is good that way. And let me do a couple more vapes and let you get on with your business. And this is set up as an auto dripper. There's no, uh, it's got a tank on it, but there's no uh, cotton or wick material going into the tank. I just hold it upside down for a few seconds, let it drip, saturate the cotton, and we're ready to vape again. All right, we all vape on and vape strong. See you in the group, Obsessive Cotton Disorder on Facebook. If you're not a member already, come on over, join up, participate in the group. Uh, it's community driven. Uh, we always enjoy the pictures that people post, the videos, uh, any advice, good advice you might have about vaping or cotton setups or builds, whatever. Uh, so come on over, join in the fun. Again, vape on and vape strong.